Hey y'all, so <laughs> welcome back to my channel. We about to get into this Michael Jackson 1993 deposition. So as you guys know, I've been seeing this clip in like um, Michael Jackson shady moments or funny moments or whatever. Not really knowing the context of, you know, what was going on. So yeah, this was requested to me to watch um, the deposition to get a better understanding, I guess, of um, what the clips were about. But yeah, without further ado, guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video, so let's go. You swear that the testimony you're about to give in the matter now under consideration shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll be good. Yes. You realize that one of the songs at issue in this lawsuit is a song called The Girl Is Mine? Yes. Who wrote The Girl Is Mine? I wrote The Girl Is Mine. Was it uh, also released as a single? Yes, the first single off of Thriller. Uh, I'd like to uh, play for you a document that's uh, at <coughs> Exhibit 489 and ask you to tell me whether you recognize uh, Exhibit 489. I'm going to stop the, the Exhibit uh, 489 for a moment and ask you, Mr. Jackson, whether you uh, recognize that. Yes, that's me writing the parts to The Girl Is Mine, creating it. <coughs> What were the circumstances uh, under which you started making Exhibit 489? Well, just a tape recorder there and making sounds like. Every night she was riding my dreams. Says I met from the start. I have an objection. I have an objection. Well, that's how it. That's how I did it. You asked me how I created, and I started to perform to give you an example of how I create songs. I make these sounds. He is so sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just his voice. He's just so fucking sweet, dog. Like. Oh, it's the girl's mind. Objection. You were making some sounds with your mouth. Uh, what was the purpose of that? The sounds are the rhythms that I make. The way I'm hearing it in my head. And I'm hearing the bass, I'm hearing the percussion. I'll stop there. You were making some noise where, where you just laughed. What were you doing? I was imitating a Moog bass where you play the bass on a keyboard, but you have this little stick where you can go. Thank you. Did you just hear some words on the, on the tape? Yeah, that part of the song I never used. Why not? Because it went in another direction. And I can tell by listening to that where it's going to go. It's probably going to go da 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 da. Because it's most likely to go in that direction. I haven't heard this since then. There it is. What? Uh, part where you were you singing just before I stopped the tape. Counter lines, musical counter lines that can go against the main part. Yeah. What were you doing right there? <laughs> what was that? She's creating she another part. What was there a particular musical instrument that uh, you were the piano? Do do do. 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 What were you doing there? Creating a French horn part, which I never used. That could be soft horns. What did you just say there? I just said that could be soft horns. And don't write this song. Don't write anything. Let the song create itself. That's my law. Does the song The Girl Is Mine have a bridge? Yes, it does. Could you uh, sing that for us? I love you more than he take you anywhere. And I go, but I love you endlessly. Loving you will share. I don't know You know what's crazy about this? I was about to say, because you know what it just said on screen. I was about to say like how he sounds just like how good he sounds in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like that's his real actual voice. Cause you know, some artists, they need, they need their voices tuned 
to sound good, but that's just like how he sounds like in the studio, outside the studio. It's very difficult sometimes. It's only, you only have one voice, but you're hearing full chords. Before this lawsuit was filed, did you ever hear a song called Happy Go Lucky Girl? No. When you wrote The Girl Is Mine, did you copy from anyone else's song? No. Was The Girl Is Mine written by you and you alone? Written by me and me alone. Do uh, you know anybody named Clifford Rubin? That's a ringing bell. Uh, do you know Raynard Jones? Yes. Do you ever copy any songs um, provided you by Raynard Jones? No. Uh, are you familiar with the song Thriller? Yes. Turning to another subject, you realize that Joseph Jackson is one of the defendants in this case? I heard. Who's Joseph Jackson? My father. Finally, I'd like to turn to We Are the World. Uh, how'd you become involved with We Are the World? Quincy Jones called. He said it would be very important for the children. He know how important that is to me. So I said, I'll do it. So I uh, got together with Lionel, goofed off for two days doing nothing because we go way back since I was like eight years old or something. Then on the third day, I um, woke up with this melody in my head. Did uh, Mr. Ritchie bring any melody to you at any time? Um, Can you sing it? It went, da -dee da da dum da -dee da da dum and that was it. Did you like it? Yeah, I said, that's nice. Did you eventually make a demo of We Are the World? Yes, I did. Do you remember where that was? I can't find that tape to this day. I wish I knew where it was. I'd like to hear it just to have some laughs. Let us understand. <laughs> Did you copy uh, any one song in writing We Are the World? No. I'm a songwriter myself. I don't have to take other people's songs. Did you and Mr. Ritchie, and only you and Mr. Ritchie, uh, write me We Are the World? That's the truth. I have no further questions. Would you please state your name? <clears throat> Michael Joseph Jackson. Do you know a person by the name of Raynard Jones? I've met him. Do you feel that Mr. Jones owes you some loyalty? I think he owes honesty. Would you say that you also owe honesty? I'm being very honest. That's not my question. Do you feel that you owe honesty? I am honest. Is it your testimony that Mr. Jones is dishonest? Absolutely. Okay. Why do you say that he is dishonest? He knows in his heart that he did not write those songs. He knows that. Do you have or have you ever had a collection of musical materials? A collection of musical materials? Yes, or a collection. A collection that I buy from the music store. Where did you keep your musical materials that you purchased from the music store? <laughs> everywhere. They were strewn everywhere. Is that it? Thrown about. I'm not organized in that way. Have you and uh, the Jacksons ever conducted a musical tour called the Victory Tour? Yes. Would Reinhard Jones visit you and or your brothers after your performance? He would always try to get backstage and pass on the security to try to get in, that type of thing. You've been in the record business for quite some time, have you not? Quite some time. Do you recall a tune named Blues Away? Yes. Who wrote that? I wrote that one. How about a song called Different Kind of Lady? What about it? Do you recall that song? Yes. Was Blues Away the first song that you'd ever recorded, written that was, that was recorded? No. Had you uh, written songs pre previously that were recorded before Blues Away? Oh, yes. Can you name some of those songs that you had written and, and were recorded and released? That's different. That's different. <laughs> well, let me go back then. Was Blues Away the first song that you had written that was recorded and released? Yes. Well, we saved ourselves a lot of we sure did. Do you include common musical phrases in your songs that you write? Common musical phrases? Do you know what that means? Yeah, but I don't know if, if you know what it means. I was going to ask you, why don't you tell us what it is? A musical phrase could mean a note, a tone. Could you tell us what a common musical phrase is? 
a common musical phrase. That's a common musical phrase. That could be a common musical phrase. Uh, when you write a song that's your sole song that you take credit for by yourself, is that song independently created by you? Do you understand the question, Mr. Jackson? Absolutely. The songs that I take credit for on my albums that say written by Michael Jackson are written by Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson alone, right? Michael Jackson alone. I wouldn't cheat anybody out of credit. I'm not suggesting you cheat anybody on anything, sir. I'm going to give you a list of songs, and I'm going to ask you some questions about each one of them. What was your life? He was How so was your life? Right. Wrote that with my brother, no, Jimmy. Michael McKellar? Michael McKellar? Yes. How do you know about Michael McKellar? I wrote Michael McKellar. When you, when you write them, what form would they be in? Would they be in the form of lead sheets? Would they be in the form of notes? God, I've written things on toilet paper. It could be anything. Right, Whatever's which, the closest around. I've right, written on no. walls. Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Was uh, that tune released? Yes. Do you recall what year? 79, was it? Did you have a stockpile of, of songs that you had written uh, to be submitted for that album? When I, when I write songs for an album, I'll write 50 to 60 songs just for nine songs, you know, and I'll pick from those. Muscles, did you write that? Yes. How do you know Raynard Jones? A friend of my brother's over the years. Do you consider him a friend of yours? No. Why not? Well, a friend wouldn't do this, would it? Oh my God, the fact that he could stay so calm and so sweet during an interview like this. Like, he doesn't give them a reaction. I feel like that's what they really want out of him is to like really offend him and get a reaction. And he just, is, he does not give them that. With the interviews, with the, um, what was her name? I can't remember her name, but the one with him and Lisa Marie, I can't remember her name, the interviewer. And then the, uh, the Oprah one, I haven't watched that one yet. But like, you can tell that they're like trying to pull a reaction out of him. He just doesn't give it give it to him because he knows like what like what are y'all trying to get like what are you trying to say like I didn't do none of this shit because I'm I'm from what I've seen or what the comments have told me before that he was accused of like stealing music or whatever and he has to let him know like no I write my shit like listen to the tapes he was beatboxing his shit. <laughs> He was beatboxing this shit and grooving to his music. Like, no, I don't have to steal music from anybody. I'm a fucking genius. Like, I write all my shit. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video.